Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kevin here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. So today I want to go over uh, skills you need to know if you're applying for IT support jobs. But I also want to give you some gems of things you need to know or skills you should know if you're applying for those mid-level jobs because it is possible, it is possible to skip uh, entry level jobs if you learn uh, certain skills that are not entry level, if that makes sense. So I want to share my screen and I want to just go over a couple of jobs. That's the first thing I'm going to do. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to go over what skills you need to know if you're applying for IT support jobs. And the other thing you need to know is what certs are they asking for if you're applying for IT support jobs. So, and I know I already made videos on this before, but I'm going to actually give you some stuff today. So let me share my screen real quick, okay? So we're on screen one, share. So I, I'm, not, I'm not too sure how people use uh, their, like when they search for stuff. Typically what I do when I search for a job, I typically type the state in here. I usually type CompTIA A plus or I type IT support. Typically you want to, you want to aim for higher salaries, especially now with the whole thing going on with the recession. I would, I would aim for higher salaries and try to learn the skills that they're asking for, if that makes sense. So what I do is you can type CompTIA or you can type IT support and then just press enter. And I put Texas because I'm from New York. Obviously, they pay a lot higher, but Texas is more reasonable because a lot of people are moving to Texas and a lot of people are, are around that area. And I know other places as well. Like I was going to put Florida in here, but you could put whatever state you want. And typically what I do is so this is 35,000, 40,000, 45,000. Like these three, I skip immediately. I just go to 55,000. And the reason why I do that is because I want to get paid more money, <laughs> right? We don't want to, we don't want to, uh, we don't want to like end up screwing ourselves over. You know, we want to aim for the higher money, a higher salary, right? So what, what I do is typically when you're paying like 55,000, right? Uh, usually these roles are a little more senior roles, right? And, and some companies will ask for A+, plus, some will not ask for A+. Plus. So I'm just letting you know, like some companies ask for A+, plus, some will not ask for A+. Plus. And how, how do you, I guess, Kev, how do you get A+, plus for free to study or learn, right? Or how do you learn fundamentals in A+, plus? I always go back to Professor Messer, so I have him right over here. Whenever I, I uh, if you guys don't know me, but Whenever I train somebody in IT that's brand new, I typically send them to Professor Messer because he does fundamentals of A plus stuff. And the thing is, that I get asked a lot is, should you have A plus or should you not have A plus? It depends on the company. So at the end of the day, it really depends on the company, whether they want to give you, or rather, sorry, whether they want to ask for A plus or not, it, it varies from company to company. Some companies will ask for it. Some companies do not ask for it. Some companies want, the, want someone that is willing to learn and they're able to learn. So it really depends on the company. So should I have A plus? Uh, depends on the company. Does it help your resume? Yes, it does. Because some 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 jobs have uh, ATS system, and what happens is if you don't have A plus, you get kicked out of that that job automatically. So, and some some places like Indeed, if you apply for Indeed, sometimes you'll get a drop down that it says, um, "Do you have A plus?" And you put it is a drop that says yes or no. If you put no, then they're not going to call you. So. Some places will ask for A+, plus, some will not. So it goes back to, it varies from company to company. But the resources I use for A+, plus now, going based on what I learned, like talking about 2022, not, 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 uh, not when I first started IT, because I've been in IT for a while. So Professor Messer is free. That's an example. If you want something, if you want, if you want someone else that is free, I recommend you look at TechG. So I don't know if you know about TechG, but TechG has a lot of free A+, plus stuff. So if you go to his videos, he actually has A plus stuff as well. So I go to his stuff as well. He has A plus, network plus, security plus. I will go over A plus stuff right there to learn fundamentals, right? And he even has ITF. So ITF plus certification, which is fundamentals of IT. So I will look at these two channels. Now, if you want to pay for it for something, I would go to Professor Messer's website and, and buy the notes and buy all the other stuff if that makes sense. Some people use different resources. So I would recommend combining the research because sometimes you have everyone learns differently one person may learn this way one person may learn that way if that makes sense so it varies from person to person so i would combine professor messer with jason so jason has a plus stuff as well so i will look at his material as well and that should help you out so we have tech g professor messer and jason all right it's just so you you know where to go 
uh, for A plus stuff. All right. So what I do is I just go back to the job posting, right? I want to be all over the place. What I do is typically I look at the job, right? Like I look at four or five different jobs. I scroll all the way down and I look at the job description. I look at what they're asking for. So this one's asking for coding. So I would not apply for this job because this is not, this is technical support for Linux. Like I'm not doing that. I'm not, as you guys know, I'm not a Linux guy. So it's a job that, that they're asking for Linux support, which is, it should pay more if it's a Linux support job. Just, just FYI, like you should, you should get the job description because sometimes they, they tend to low blow you and give you give you a, a lot of responsibility and they're not paying a lot of money if that makes sense. It's supposed to pay a good amount of money if they're giving you like they expect you to do coding or or Ruby on Rails or or Linux or something like that. And it's support and you're doing help desk plus coding, like it should be over at least over 90k. So just so you're aware. Okay. So this job here, I think anyone could do this job to be honest with you. They reinstall software patches. Um Warranty support, hardware, it's paid 60K. I would apply to this job. I have a video on Exchange Admin, Exchange Admin Center and stuff like that. SSCM. See, this is like, so this is why I have this channel up here on the right. It's to set up SSCM. I'm going to make a video on this by, by, as well, by the way, on SSCM, because I need to make a new video on SSCM. But uh, if you guys don't know, I'm affiliated with JavaScript Share. I'm friends with them. So I'm always going to I'm always going to recommend a channel, whether it's Linux, Keep It Techie. Uh, you need coaching from Black Heights. I'll mention Black Heights. You need cybersecurity. I will mention Professor Black Ops. Um, if you need something about security in general, struggle in security. If you want, if you want about, if you want to learn about A plus stuff, I recommend Tech G. If you want to learn A plus stuff, I recommend Master IT and join this program. You know, so there are like several resources out there that I would recommend. But for today, I'm going to go over job skills here. So he has a whole video on how to set up. SSCM and how to set up with PowerShell. And I would recommend you look at this video. I'm gonna leave it below in the description. Once you learn this skill, I recommend you add it on your resume. And when you add it on the resume, it will make you stand out. So then you could apply for these higher, higher end jobs because SSCM is on demand right now. So you need to know how to deploy packages. You need to know how to push out software and you need to know how to do updates on the back end on a machine. So a lot of companies are using SSCM, they're using Ivanti. Obviously, there are different applications, different programs, but if you have SSCM on the resume, it will make you stand out. So let's look at another job description. So this one, same thing, fairly easy. Hardware updates, you know, if you know hardware break and fix, which A-plus teaches that, you'd be good with that. Moving stuff, racking stuff, it's self-explanatory. You should know how to do that. Uh, Windows and Linux. Like for me, like if I had to learn Linux, I would just throw it on the VM and learn it. So like if this is asking for Windows or Linux, I will literally spin up a VM of Ubuntu and start learning Ubuntu and then start learning the fundamentals of Ubuntu. I would even watch Keep It Techie's Linux video. So I don't Keep It Techie. So if I go here, right? Um, and I go here, I'll just show you real quick. And I go to Keep It Techie. I know Keep It Techie has a Linux, has a Linux course. Um, so if I go here and just show you, he has a, he has a Linux course. So I would probably watch this video and then do a, open up a VM of Ubuntu. <laughs> I'll leave this below in the description as well. So that's literally what I would do. Like, so for someone that's trying to aim for a higher job and that's the point of this video, right? Like Kev, what the hell's the point of this video? So the, what for, for me, for someone that's aiming for a higher position or higher salary, Typically, you look at four or five different jobs. I grab the four or five different jobs and I learn some of the skills that are asking the job description. Then I add those skills on my resume so I could tailor my resume so I could apply for that job and, and, and have my resume stand out, if that makes sense. So that's what I would do. That's my advice. Because right now we're, we're um, I, I, hate, I hate using that word recession, but right now we're in a recession and I don't want you going for a job that is paying 30K. That doesn't make any sense, right? When you can make so much more money, if you put in the work. So at the end of the day, if you put in the work, you could definitely make more money. So this one's asking for switches, routers, and like, who would I look, who would I look at for this? I would look at the one life foot for this. So like the one life foot has a video on Linux. So I would, uh, Linux, sorry, uh, switches and routers. So I would go to the one life foot. And I know, I know he has videos on, on uh, switches and routers. So if I go here and I type Cisco, he has a whole video on how to build a home lab for for uh, for uh, um, switches and routers. So I would 
The other guy is Network Bro as well. I'm not sure if you guys know Network Bro, which I'm actually subscribed to. He's in uh I'm 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 usually quiet on his on his um YouTube channel, but Network Bro ha, ha, does a lot of videos on Linux as well. So I definitely recommend watching him. So if you want to learn searches and routers, I would look at his videos as well. Anyway, so this is what I recommend. Like go to a job description, look at the job, see if you could do it. If not, learn it, right? At the end of the day, is learning. So this is like service skills, customer service. If you have a restaurant background, you could do this. All you, need, all you need to know is the skills for IT. That's it. So you could definitely do this. And it's paying, what's the salary for this position? So 63K, so yeah, you could definitely do this. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand why people just don't, like you got to learn the skills. At the end of the day, uh, learn the skills. It's, up, it's entirely up to, like, this was asking for SCCM. I went over that already. So I will go back. I will go here and do the same thing. Like I literally will go here, right? And I will filter the job and filter the salary. Like I wouldn't even aim for 40K to be honest with you. I mean, I'll get more results. Like if it's 40K, like it has to be, it has to be a job that, that is paying 40 to 80K and I can negotiate at least 60K if that makes sense, or at least over 50K. That would be me if that makes sense. I would go here and then look at the job. Obviously you can't do this one. This is 160K, All right? Like this was, this one has no experience, right? And I don't know what the salary. Let me look at the salary. It doesn't give me the salary. I, like when it, when I see a job like this, that it doesn't give me the salary, I get a little frustrated. So what what do I do when I see something like this? So like, okay, what, what do you recommend? So I literally will go to this person, like whoever this person is, was Maria, all right? I would I would add her as a friend. I would add a note to it and I would add a note to it and I would ask her about the job posting. So I would go like, oh, I see a job posting for a hybrid desktop support technician. Uh, can you tell me more information about that job? Uh, are they, uh, uh, what, what, what they are looking for a senior person? She's like, it's entry level. Do you know what the pay rate is for this position? It is asking for no search, like literally zero search. So what, what's the pay rate? And, and um, just a little, I want to know a little more information about this job. So look, yeah, so this, this job looks really good. But I don't know what the pay is. If the pay sucks, then what's the point of me applying for this job? Obviously, right? So that's what I would do. You know, I would reach out to the hiring manager or the, or the person that is hiring for that job, and I would message them. Like you, you want to use LinkedIn as as a as a resource, right? But you also want to take advantage of LinkedIn. Like if you see someone is hiring for some of these jobs, they're hiring. They have I have premium, right? So some of these jobs are hiring. The reason why I'm emphasizing premium is I know people that are veterans, they get premium for free, right? So don't, don't, don't be afraid to reach out to a hiring manager, right? Like this one, like her, I would do the same thing. I literally will go here. I would add her as a friend. I would add a note to it and send her a nice, nice, nice professional message and ask her about that position. Oh, I see you're hiring for this position. What's the pay rate for? It? I don't see a pay rate. What I like to know, like, you know, so that's what I would do. So what, so going back to, going back to everything I said today, what, let me rephrase everything. All right. So you may need a plus, you may not need a plus, get a plus, um, go online, filter the job description research and go in for a higher position and learn the skills that they're asking for. If you need to know fundamentals, look at a, look at CompTIA a plus from professor Messer, look at tech G maybe master it has stuff in there. I know master it has a lot of stuff. So I would, I would go in here and, you know, master IT. I know he has a lot of videos. Um, go him right here real quick. He has some A plus stuff here. He has some A plus, some, some A plus, some, some stuff in here. I would, I would go to his videos as well. Tech G. Uh, the job's asking for Linux. Um, we'll go get that Linux course from Keep It Techie. Jobs asking for SSCM, job skill show. I'm friends. So at the end of the day, all these people that I'm mentioning, I'm friends with all of them, right? <laughs> so why not take advantage of the free resources, right? Don't pay anything. I, I'm not going to make you pay anything. We don't, we don't do that, right? We learn the skills. We add it on the resume. We make ourselves stand out. And we're good to go after that. So that's it. That's pretty much it for this video. I'm going to stop sharing. So I would, I would definitely go online, do some homework, learn the skills I need to learn, add those skills to my resume, tailor my resume for that job that I want and learn the skills that I need to know for, for that high, for that high end money, if that makes sense. All right. With that being said, I hope everyone has a good day. Take care. Peace. Bye.